Business does. Marcia Fraser to tell us all about that. So welcome back to the show, Marcia. Thank you, ladies. You look fabulous. Yes, thank you. Thank you for styling us up every week. You're welcome. You make us look wonderful, and you make other people look amazing. So, Marcia, tell us, how are stripes making a comeback? Is it? I thought it was long gone because uh, it made people look awful, but apparently that's not the case. <laughs> actually, no, actually. Nautical is always in style, the nautical look. The key to wearing striped, ladies, I mean, look at whom I you look at me. <laughs> oh, she's pulling it you off. Know? We have to remember what it, what is it about our body that we love, right. right? So we always want to, you know, amplify that. So you've got a beautiful face, you know, you're wearing more of the vertical stripe closer right. to your face. It also elongates you. Mm -hmm. So knowing your body shape, knowing your best features mm -hmm. about you, whether it be the top half or the bottom half, and wearing the appropriate stripes to flatter that. Mm -hmm part of your body. And we want to talk about appropriate stripes because yes, Huma right. is rocking the vertical <laughs> look. So. so yeah, speaking of stripes, that was my next question. Um, usually when you read the fashion magazines and talk to people or stylists, they're always saying to stay away from the horizontal stripes, which is kind of my rule of thumb because I feel like, you know, I'm always told that they're going to make you look wider or bigger and just avoid them altogether. But um, looking in the stores these days, I'm seeing them all over the place. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. Anyone and everyone could wear stripes. Uh -huh. And as, as I said before, it all depends on your body shape. So for example, to be able to wear uh, horizontal stripe really, really well, Huma, you're, you have to have like a triangle shape. So mm -hmm. smaller at the top. So with a horizontal stripe, what you want to do is to create volume, right? right? So it will give you that extension across and create a little bit more volume and balance to uh -huh. the hips so you would wear the horizontal stripe at the top and then you will do a black or a solid color at the bottom to balance it out okay i'm really curious to see how this actually looks like on a person absolutely because, you know, theoretically it's not good but i actually want to visually see it so yeah, absolutely i think i hear that you brought a model who yes. actually has the outfit on so let's bring shania our model our lovely model and see how horizontal oh. stripes actually look like and you've got the stripes. Now that looks, oh wow, and you actually combine two different stripes together here. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Again, everyone could wear stripes, knowing your body type. Mm -hmm. Now, Shania's body type, she's an hourglass shape, mm -hmm. so which is considered the perfect shape mm -hmm. in today's society. She could wear almost anything. anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the horizontal stripe, let's speak to that. It's speaking to the slimmest part of her body, mm -hmm. which is in the tummy area, right. Mm -hmm. right? And then you've got the vertical stripes along the sides mm -hmm. that not only thins you, yeah. but it elongates her, giving you a taller silhouette. Oh. Same thing as in the bottom of the culottes, mm -hmm. we've got the stripes going vertical, which mm -hmm. elongates her legs right. yeah. as well. So it gives her a leaner, um, look and a very elegant yeah very nice and it's all stripes in the front but somehow like even on camera it's kind of just blending in you can't really even see it like it's just creating that illusion of you know the figure that you're saying in the side stripes on the side the stripes really on nice. the sides now the yeah. key to wear an up and down stripe uh -huh. is you want to pick a color that's dominant right right so for example let's take a look at the pant mm -hmm. the black pant there's the the stripes that are vertical are very faint, mm -hmm. but predominantly you're seeing the black. Right. Then in the top, it's absolutely the reverse. The black is more um, right. dominant and the off-white is dominant too as well. Mm -hmm. So there's one common color between the two that balances the top and the bottom. And very quickly, Marcia, if you could give our viewers one tip on uh, if they've never worn stripes before and they're thinking of doing it now, uh, what would that one tip be? The one tip will be definitely to make sure that when you're wearing a stripe to amplify the beauty yeah. part of your body, yeah. the part that you love the most, mm -hmm. whether it be the top or the bottom, wear the stripe to complement that mm -hmm. part of your body. And if you love all of yourself, just stripe it. Just stripe it from head to toe. Stripe it. That's right. There you go. Marcia, when you come on, you give us lovely tips, and we want to hear more from you, so we're not letting you go oh, just yet. Okay. So don't go anywhere, because coming up next, we talk about how to incorporate patterns into your wardrobe.